Welcome back guys to another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. Hit the road Jack, we're back up at Cooma today. We're about to head out on Pipe Dream where dreams are made, where dreams happen. About five o'clock in the morning, it's early. I think high tide's around seven, 7.30. I'll probably be fishing again before Sunday. Don't know if I catch any fish and I don't know if I'm gonna make a video, so I'll be putting up where I'm going fishing on Sunday night after work. It's a full moon Sunday night, so I'm gonna go fishing. It'll be like 10, 10.30 at night. I'm gonna post a location on my Facebook, Fishing with Timmy Turtle. If you guys are not doing anything Sunday night, bring your DIY boats down or your kites down if you haven't made your DIY boats yet. Yeah, Fishing with Timmy Turtle, Facebook, I'll post a location. It's gonna be like a, it's gonna be a late night one, but it's a full moon, so it should be as bright as day out there. I've got to lock my car. Whoop, keys are in the ignition. Classic Stenners. My motor's got a mind of its own. It's nothing, nothing even plugged in. Look at this. It's not plugged in. Why is it spinning? Guys, I'm a professional YouTuber now. Look at that. I got one of these things. I think that makes it professional. I've been locked out of heaven. Pipe dream away. So I'm just tying on one of my new lures, the Eco Gear Bolts. Saw some guy on YouTube using them and thought, man, that guy's good. I'm gonna use them. That is the worst knot I've ever tied. If anyone's got a quick way to tie a knot for the mentally disabled, just link me in the comments below. Spend more time tying knots than actually fishing. Oh. That was quick. It's a rally. Let's let that hit the bottom. Flicked it up. Come there, mate. Come there. Whoa. Hit that like a freight train. Look at that. First little fish of the morning. Gonna keep flicking around these pylons. See what turns up. Episode six points. Oh, that took a while to get the second fish. Another little for Valley. Gee, he's tiny. Took a while to get the second fish this morning. Still no jacks. Quick update. I mean, no. Oh. 
I think we just met Jack, guys. Oh, big trevally. Came up and had a sniff at that. Oh, oh trevally. Oh. Hammered that little four inch Z Man. Breach Valley this morning, no jack. Thought I was in for a little surprise there with the jack when it hit that. He hit it pretty quick. I know I'm in the right place, I'm gonna come back to this spot. I have to get to work soon, but let this fella go. I'm coming back here. I felt like we were real close to a jack today. I gotta head to work. I'm gonna combine this video. I'm gonna fish somewhere near my place this afternoon because I don't have to work tonight. So hopefully I get some fish there. See you in the next spot. Welcome back guys. We're in a little lake out the back of Palm Beach. Um, someone told me it's a cracker spot when the tide's coming in. Water bubbles up in here so we are, I'm not sure what the audio is gonna be like with this wind but we are gonna check it out. Said so it's filled with herring so I've got the Harry. If that doesn't work, by the time it gets dark, we'll opt for something else. Cheers. First bit. Oh, shit. Oh, flathead. Oh, All yeah. right, that, that could be a PB. No, he snapped my hook. That might be a PB, that's, oh, maybe not. That is a, that is a nice size. I'll give him a measure. 59, 59 PB flathead, guys. Beautiful, look at that. Snapped one of my hooks. Oh, well, we'll let him go. Thanks for watching another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. If you enjoyed this episode, as always, drop a like, hit subscribe. Still no jacks, but we're getting closer. Winds changed, so the water's warming up. If you want to come fishing with me Sunday, like the Facebook page, Fishing with Timmy Turtle, all one word. And I'll drop the location tomorrow on where I'm going to fish and what time. Hopefully I'll see some of you Sunday.